Steph Bondi. Hey, Tom, that, that run to start the fourth quarter um, seemed to give you guys the momentum, and, and you left um, RJ in there to, to start that fourth quarter and played him throughout. Can you just talk about that decision um, yeah. to leave RJ out there? Well, I thought, you know, we, we were trying to uh, match up taking Julius out when they took Doncic out, and so we felt we needed another scorer out there, and I was just going to run with it a couple minutes, and then it sorted that group got on a run and RJ got on a run. So we went with it and it worked out. I thought Frank gave us good minutes too. We needed a, another defender in there. Uh, so I thought that was important. And, you know, the the block and the rim protection from New Orleans was, was terrific. Uh, Reggie battled the all game on, on Doncic and, you know, that's not an easy task. We had a number of guys just step up and, and play really well. So we, uh, you know, we got to take that. There, obviously, there's things that we can do better, and we got to make our corrections. And we're going to have a quick turnaround for our next game. Mark Berman. Uh, this late in the season, to see Julius look so fresh and sharp, I mean, is it still amazing what he's doing out there? Yeah, I, I mean, I think he prepared himself for this, and I think that you, you can't overlook that. Uh, I knew when I saw him the first time in the summer, the type of shape that he was in. And so uh, I've had a number of players uh, throughout my career that, you know, are, are that type of player and they all prepare themselves extremely well in the off season so they can handle the workload that they're going to have. And they, you know, they command a lot of attention when you, when you're scoring the ball and making plays the way he is, he's, you know, he's rarely single covered uh, and he's making the right plays. He's making winning plays. The way we started the game, his aggressiveness set the tone for it. And I've said it many times, he's our engine. He makes us go. Steve Popper. Hey, Tom, this five game winning streak is the longest for the franchise in seven years. Uh, are you happy? Am I happy? Yeah, you know I'm never happy. No, I, you know, and for and we try not to get wrapped up in any of that stuff. You know, it's uh, it, I think you you don't want to get lost, and that's the most important thing. I I think to understand what goes into winning. I think if we're taking care of all the little things, the big things will take care of themselves. Just stack good days. You know, we want to have good practice days. We want to have good shoot arounds. We want to play our best in the games. We want to learn each day, and we want to keep getting better. And if we do that, we're going to have a good chance. I think we have a, a belief that we can win. And that's probably the most important thing. And it's and it started that way uh, at the beginning. And, you know, it doesn't really matter what outside people think. It, it's what we think. Ian Bagley. Tom, what did you think of what you got from uh, Nerland tonight? Uh, you know, the, the rim protect, that, the block shot was – you know, there's, there's a lot of plays in, throughout the course of the game that that are just defined as winning plays, and they give your team conf confidence. They it unites your team and inspires your team. And when you see someone make a play like that, it, it gets people fired up. And that's you know, and, and that's what he does. He he makes great effort plays. Uh, he protects the rim. He covers up a lot of mistakes. Uh, we had guys flying around, and you have to when you're. When you're trying to guard a guy like Doncic, it requires more than one. You have to be in. You got to try to stop the ball. Then you have to get out. You got to cover the line. You got to challenge the shot, and then you got to finish with the rebound. That requires a lot of effort, and you got to be flying around. As again, if one guy's doing it slowly, you're going to give up a wide open shot. So you need everyone tied together, and the team has made that commitment. And he's the anchor back there, and that's he, that's his role. Ian O'Connor. Yeah, Tom, uh, outside of Randall's conditioning, is there something that he's shown you in his game that maybe you didn't know he had before you started coaching him? Yeah, I think the big thing is, like, when he added the three-point shot, and that just opened up everything else. He, you know, he's always been uh, terrific on the block. He's, he can always face up, and he beat you off the dribble. But he was more of a mid-range guy, and he sort of has really extended his range. Uh, and then the playmaking, you know, he's a lot more patient. I think 
He's reading the floor extremely well. He's creating easy offense for us. Uh, he's making really good decisions. Uh, but I think he prepared himself well for the, for the season. And, you know, I think his confidence comes from that. It's uh, what you put into something, and he's put a lot into it. Mark Berman. Hey, Tom, uh, probably won't talk to you tomorrow. And uh, with the Pelicans rematch coming up some, so soon, I mean, uh, obviously they're going to make adjustments, but is there some things you're looking at uh, for, for, for that contest against Zion and maybe Lonzo? Yeah, I think Lonzo played tonight, so that, you know, that may, they'll make, it, that make them different. Uh, so we're going to have to be ready for that. And it's a quick turnaround. It's an early start, and we got to be ready to go. So we know the challenges that we'll, we'll face. Um, and the, when you're going against a guy like Zion, in many ways it's similar to Donchins in the sense that it requires more than one, uh, and you can't give him any gaps. And uh, Ingram is, is a load to deal with. Uh, if he gets going early, it could be a problem. So that team has a lot of weapons. Last question, Steph Bondi. Yeah, just, just looking for, forward again, um, you got this big home stretch coming up. Um, do, you, do you look at this as, I mean, what are the challenges when you play that many consecutive games at home? Is there, is there any difference? Yeah, and, and again, I, I don't want us like looking ahead. And sometimes yeah, when you think about, you know, all the psychological advantages and disadvantages that you may have, you, work, you think about everything. And so sometimes you could and get distracted easily being at home for an extended period of time. Uh, so that's a challenge. Just be ready for the next game. Be ready for, you know, your recovery, your preparation. Understand what goes into it. Uh, and take it day by day. It's whether it's a long homestand or a long uh, road trip, it's all the same. Each game counts the same. So you have to go step by step. Don't skip any steps and come out with that edge and try to get better each and every day. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Julius Randall's here. If you have a question, raise your hand and I'll bring you into the room. Mark Berman. Hey, Julius. Uh, you know, Rick Carlisle said before the game, Julius always gets up for Dallas in his hometown. Uh, how, how much were you uh, energized tonight? It looked like you were as sharp as as you have been in all year. Yeah, I was actually kind of tired uh, a little bit before. Uh, you know what I mean? I took me a little Celsius uh, drink before and uh, got some energy. And, um, you know, I was locked in and focused. Uh, always love um, playing at home um, in front of my friends, in front of my family. So it's always special for me. Steve Popper. Hey, Julius, this uh, winning streak for you guys now is the longest in seven years for the team. Just uh, how do you feel right now with what you guys are doing, where you're at right now, you know, after that little stretch of five or six losses, how you guys turned it around? We feel good. You know, our confidence never wavers. We believe in our game plan, our coaches, everybody, one through 15, out there on that court believes in each other. So, uh, I mean, we had a stretch. Everybody throughout the season is going to have a stretch. It's going to be ups and downs, but uh, we stay solid. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep building. Ian Bagley. Julius, I'm just guessing, but I'm just guessing this would be one of the best stretches of your career just the last few games. When you were, were working the way you were working over the summer, did you kind of envision this result? Absolutely. Uh, it's not just about, you know, the weight room and court. You know, I'm going to handle that, but. You know, my mentality and my mindset was just different. So I, I trained that aspect as well. And uh, it was also shown. Mark Berman. To go on the road and uh, sweep, and especially a team like Dallas that beat you, I mean, how good does this feel to, to come out of here with a pretty convincing victory? Uh, it feels great. Um, you know, we had to handle home court. And we had three games in a row at home, so we had to handle that. Um, and then go back on the road. Uh, we have to take care of business as well. So it was good. And now we have a home stretch coming up, so we got to keep coming, uh, keep uh, taking care of things, 
uh, taking care of games we're supposed to. Ian Bagley. Given this situation, Julius, were you able to have like friends and family at the game, and how different was this trip home compared to other ones? Uh, honestly, I have more people here at the game than I usually did. Uh, you know, in past times, I believe. Uh, but uh, you know, it's always fun. Like I said, just playing in front of friends and family is always special for me. I, just, I never take those moments for granted. Tim McMahon. Tibbs talks about you being the, the engine for this team. What does that kind of responsibility mean to you, uh, given, you know, the this kind of the, uh, you know, the stage that comes with playing for the Knicks and, and you know, the fact that the recent history for that franchise uh, hasn't been real pretty? Uh, I mean, it's a responsibility, but um, it's not something that, it's, uh, that weighs on me or anything. You know, it's just my approach. Of, of who I am, you know, I consistently try to try to be the same every day, you know, and not try to be too high, too low. You know, I am who I am. Come in and work, uh, put my heart at on, uh, try to be unselfish, play for my team, and uh, you know, let that dictate, you know, the results. Last question, Steph Bondi. Hey, hey, because I know the All Star was a goal of yours, but do you think about All A? And whether you deserve it and, you know, how important that would be for you to be, you know, one of the top 15 players. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be a great accomplishment. Great. Hi, everyone. RJ Barrett's here. If you have a question, raise your hand and I'll bring you into the room. Steve Popper. Hey, RJ, this winning streak for you guys now is at five, long, longest in seven years for the team. Just how confident do you guys feel now heading down into this last month of the season and heading home for a long stretch? Um, you know, we're very confident, uh, very confident. We've been playing well as a unit, and we just got to keep that up. Mark Berman. Hey, RJ. Um, how big was your fourth quarter uh, to help Julius? I mean, were you thinking, like, Julius can't, like, do this alone? And my second question, if I don't get back to you, is that we're not going to speak to you tomorrow. Are you looking forward to New Orleans again? I know that wasn't the best outing for you in that in that game. Um, I was happy tonight that I was able to contribute in any way um, to help get us this one today. And then, of course, you know it's our it's our next game. Uh, we're gonna go in there with a lot of confidence. Uh, we know we just we just saw them, so definitely looking forward to having another chance to get a, another win. Ian Bagley. So, RJ, just you and Julius, it seems like you guys have both come such a long way when you think about last season. The, the way he's played the last few games, does that surprise you at this point? Have you come to expect it from him? Honestly, the way they made the schedule, it was Lakers, New Orleans, then in Dallas and in New Orleans again, like <laughs> – I mean, you, you kind of knew he was going to come out and do this. So uh, it doesn't surprise me at all. You know, he's a tremendous player, and, you know, we're behind him 100%. Jonathan Macri. Hey, RJ. Um, I know you guys are so focused on, you know, taking care of your business, but this team is quickly becoming one that the fans have really embraced around New York, and they're really starting to fall in love with. Um, I'm just wondering what you have to say to the fan base um, coming off of this five-game win streak. Um, you know, we appreciate you guys. You guys have been riding with us all year. Um, there's ups and downs in the season. You know, just keep sticking with us. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll make you guys proud. Thank you, RJ.